Happy to bring in Sans Photoshop, my friend Ray Sun and Shine of the CSU Pat Brown Institute of Public Affairs, Cal State LA's greatest. Rafe, what are you looking for tonight here in Southern California? Well, first of all, what I'm looking for, we're not going to find out until tomorrow because mm -hmm. it were later because it takes so long to count the votes in the California election. The DA's race, a race in City Council District 4 of Los Angeles, David Rue's seat being challenged by Nithra Rahman, and Supervisor Seat 2, where Herb Weston is going against Holly Mitchell. In all three cases, you have a candidate more identified with the progressive wing of the Democratic Party against a candidate more identified as a center left wing. There really is not a right wing in the Democratic Party. And Bernie Sanders has endorsed the uh, progressive in all three cases. In other words, there's a Sanders ticket. Put another way, the Democratic Party nationally has begun to notice California as something other than an ATM machine for campaign contributions. And Rafe, I'm curious too, uh, today I just saw so much activity out there, which seemed almost unprecedented. And I'm wondering what you think, I mean, no one could have expected this coronavirus pandemic, but has it revealed certain things about what is working and what isn't working in politics that we might want to carry forward? I mean, hopefully this pandemic we will be done with soon enough. But in elections to come, are you seeing anything here that really might have changed our democracy? Well, I think between this and the murder of George Floyd, mm. there has been an epiphany for many people about equity, that equity underlies everything and that race underlies everything. I have never seen a wider acceptance of that belief and it's driving everything. It's driving the issues of the economy, how we will come back, how the virus has hit people in an inequitable manner and of course policing. So all those things in one year have gone from things where people sometimes at the margins are now at the center of political debates and it's all around the word equity. Mm. And that's a, that's a major recognition that these are not all independent policy areas. They're all tied together by something. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what comes to mind when you say that is Proposition 16, which would repeal Prop 209. It'll be very interesting mm -hmm. to see as the night wears on where Californians are at with that. Ray Sun and Shine, it is always a pleasure to speak with you. I wish you a happy and safe election night. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us. Same to you, Alex.